Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Talk News and Let's Talk Small and Scan. Let's Talk Cloud Battle Season 8. We're giving uh, have uh, information about releasing a new clan battle and what do you know tier 10 matchmaking and only uh, you're allowed to play one single uh, battleship so only one battleship in each clan however who's need a um, who will gonna need any battleship when there's uh, you know Smolensk left and right I do believe this will be my by far the most popular ship but in my uh, honestly opinion and this is a question to you are you not sick and tired of all this tier 10 nonsense clans uh, battle and rank battle uh, left and right okay the last one was a tier 8 but I, I do honestly believe that even for clan battles they should give them another tier than just tier 10 and because of this ship what do you know what you're gonna push with i mean you you may argue that uh, minotaurs and uh, this ship will absolutely dominate the new season and when this season will start it will start in 22 january all the way to 9 mars and there will be a 7 versus 7 uh, game also uh, seven ships versus seven ships and there will be uh, some uh, slight change there in some maps guarantee uh, the cyclone the cyclone will always come in some maps and uh, there's a specific timeline exactly which time the cyclone will come after uh, how many minutes in the in game and when they will uh, end but it will always uh, come to southern maps the cyclone and uh, what's so special about the cyclones is that we're gaming or reducing the visual you can see another uh, ship only within 12 kilometers which force you clan versus c c clan come closer to each other within 12 kilometers and also if you have radar uh, cruiser that let's say uh, X, which have higher than 12 kilometers uh, you cannot use the radar and you cannot uh, see other ship if you cannot I don't know some weird but we're going to decide to uh, somehow in that mode do some changes to the radar but overall I would like to say so much fun it's not to see tier 10 versus tier 10 all over time uh, I definitely see some comments from uh, Wargaming is they want to have some change in lower tier because you know they are more comfortable and probably more people can enjoy the gameplay and watching not just small lands all over the place and minotaurs and I have no idea what kind of tier 10 destroyer probably with Harigumo and some other um, US good looking smokes also they have the gearing and so on but overall I would like to say that I don't see any a lot of destroyers there will be only smoke cruisers all over the place and uh, how fun is that how fun is that to watch only Smolens and minor tars because those those two ships are broken in dpm and um, in concealment and everything so I only allowed one battleship let me know in the comment below what you think about this clan battle on 22nd january uh, in tier 10 matchmaking all this nonsense Smolensk. i i personally believe this is my honest opinion the small is strong but i don't enjoy her to playing because uh, it's not a um, fan factor you don't need any island you don't need any strategy the strategy is to definitely put a good looking smoke and farm your enemy for days that's the strategy i don't know how fun is that uh, you, you this is uh, literally one of the easiest uh, ship to play with other Belfast and stuff like that because they don't need any cover they don't need any islands all they need it's uh, the other way around open water so they can use their guns and daka daka your enemy so let me know comment below what you think about this nonsense tier 10 matchmaking and tier 10 battles have a good one guys take care and bye